Next we're going to make the wheel look a little bit more interesting by putting a pocket in it of a certain shape and then patting that pocket around to make uh, a wheel that uh, you know hopefully is uh, looks interesting and an and individual design. So I choose the pocket command, sketch, I'm going to stick on this plane here which is the XY plane and I just need to draw a bit of a shape for myself. So I mean you can draw anything you like. Um, I mean, really doesn't matter too much. So if I stop drawing the spline there, maybe try another spline back this way. I haven't really thought about this all that much. I'm just, just kind of making it up as I go. So I'm just going to try and make this shape look a little bit interesting, hopefully. Uh, what are we going to do? I'm just going to have a bit of a fiddle here. Just make it so. Oh, look, here we go. We'll go for a bit of a gum leaf shape. What about that? Here we go. Doesn't really matter. You can fiddle with this as much as you like. So, basically, what we do is we cut our hole. At the moment, it's going in the wrong direction. So, there's our hole. Now, we can, if we open up the tree and we select the pocket, we go back to our old friend, the circular pattern tool and I don't know odd numbers usually look pretty good I reckon we choose five we're going to complete the crown and we mustn't forget to choose a reference element so the reference element is just going to be this surface here and there you go there's your individual design wheel please feel free to fiddle around with that make sure you save it so I'm going to save that save as um, I've got a few different wheels, but wheel leaf. There we go. We'll save that one.